What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel once again, and this weekend, after an overwhelming majority vote in the last poll, we're here to talk about all the new Forte series products. So we have the clarifying shampoo and hydrating conditioner. We've got the hydrating argan oil serum. And of course, maybe what most of you are here to see, the molding paste. So we have a lot to talk about today. So it's time to crack into this bitch and get started. Creative edits like those are my forte. <laughs> okay, that was bad. All right, so let's start out as per usual with packaging and pricing on everything. And we'll start with the shampoo and conditioner, uh, which both come in these standard eight ounce or 237 milliliter plastic bottles with pop tops. And these will run you $18.99 each. The Argon Oil Serum comes in this 2.5 ounce or 75 milliliter kind of little stubby bottle. And this guy will run you $19.99. And last but not least, we have the molding paste, which comes in this 2.5 ounce or 75 milliliter black plastic jar with the big white Forte labeling on it. We've got A Costa on the lid there. And this guy will run you $21.50. Now, each of these comes inside a box as well. Um, so I just wanted to make a little bit of a note that the, the packaging, like the bottles themselves, have very little in the way of stuff printed on them, basically just like the name, the name of the product and the whatever. Um, the boxes are what have your ingredient lists, um, stuff like made in the USA, cruelty free, um, but then they have, you know, other information on there, uh, like little blurbs about each product and all that. Now, one thing I wanted to note about the price, I mean, I, some of you probably saw it in my community tab when I ordered this stuff. Um, the shipping was a little pricey. And now I'm, I'm not normally one to like be too bothered about shipping as long as it's not outrageous because I know that shipping prices just across the board suck, generally speaking. Um, so when you order Forte, at least if you're in the US like I am, uh, the stuff came from California. And so I had two shipping options. I could go for DHL, which I think was like 11 or $12. And it had a, I think, five day delivery window or something like that. Or you could go for USPS Priority Mail, which was, I think, a dollar or two more. So, it, like, I paid twelve sixty-seven dollars in shipping, um, and that had a, a one to three day delivery window. So I was like, I'll pay the extra dollar or whatever and just do USPS, because that way I'll just get it faster, whatever. Um, but I noticed when it came in, it came in one of these, which is a flat rate envelope. Um, and... I didn't point at the right spot, it's over there. These flat rate envelopes cost $8 to ship, regardless of location in the United States. So, I like, obviously it's not a big deal. And I think because it was such a weird number, I mean, 1267, I'm sure it's just like the website just automatically calculates your shipping cost, like based on your how far away you are from their shipping center and whatever, and like the weight of what you're ordering or something. Um, I just, I was a little bit annoyed that I got an $8 flat rate envelope that I paid like $13 for. I don't know. I feel like, like upcharging for shipping is like an eBay thing, not like a hair product company thing generally. I don't know. Whatever. It's not a big deal. It just, it just like kind of annoyed me. So I wanted to mention it. All right. Next up, we got to talk about everybody's favorite category. Oh. <clears throat> Dem sense. Uh, so I we can we can pair the shampoo and conditioner together because they have the same scent. And then as far as my nose can tell, I believe the molding paste and the argan oil uh, have the same scent as each other as well, which is different than this one. But yeah, so let's, let's start with these bad boys. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, it's peppermint scent. There's not much more to say about it than that. It's it, thankfully it's not too toothpastey. I mean, it, it have, obviously like it smelled. It's it's peppermint. It's gonna smell minty. Um, but I've smelled many other peppermint scented hair products before, and thankfully these are not that strong. Um, because I'm not a massive fan of mint scented things. Like I like mint, but I'm not like oh yeah mint yeah. You know I I think it's just like it's used in so many things that it's kind of like oh it's it's minty okay. Now for the molding paste and argan oil serum. It's aight. Um, so, so first of all, I'm glad there's a scent because, you know, the clay had no scent on it at all. So I'm glad that they added some kind of fragrance to these. Once again, it's not very strong. 
um, which is fine. I know some people aren't into like very strongly scented hair products, so there's that. Uh, oh god. Oh shit, we had that one dude who didn't like the burp edit, so we better go back and fix that. Oh god. So to me, it, it smells a little bit sweet, kind of like a cotton candy smell, honestly. Like, not, not super sweet. It has kind of like a very, very light cologne, like baby powdery scent, maybe. Definitely stronger in the serum than the molding clay. Um, and yeah, when I smell it here, I just, I think cotton candy. So it's it's certainly not bad. It's a, uh, you know, it's an inoffensive scent and it definitely doesn't last very long. So once it's, you know, put into your hair, you're not gonna smell it again for the rest of the day. Does it fuck me up though? Mm, no, it's fine. It's a fine scent. Um, it's just not, in my opinion, it's not anything like Amazing. All right, so now we can quickly talk about the ingredients of each one and then move into the demo footage. I do have demos of everything. Uh, so starting with the shampoo and conditioner. Now, this is, they are calling this a clarifying shampoo. Um, so the little blurb about that says, the Forte series clarifying shampoo is a deep cleansing shampoo for guys who want the absolute best for their hair and scalp. Mm -hmm. It's a salon grade shampoo. Mm. Let me judge that. Designed to remove stubborn buildup in men's hair from styling products like clays, waxes, or pomades. Sulfate and paraben free. Uh, we've got natural... It, again, they've used this term natural-based ingredients, which is a, just a weird... I don't, that's a weird... It just sounds weird to me. I don't know. <laughs> like, as opposed to just saying natural ingredients. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, like apple cider vinegar, aloe vera, peppermint oil, and shea butter. And then as far as the conditioner, they're calling this a... Hydrating Conditioner Deep Treatment. And this one says, a daily care deep nourishing mask for any hair type. This dense, luxurious formula works from the roots to the ends, adding hydration and elasticity while eliminating frizz, all with a refreshing peppermint scent. Infused with naturally sourced ingredients, which I guess is different than natural based. Uh, it moisturizes and rehydrates the scalp with tea tree oil, peppermint oil, and hydrolyzed proteins. It's also free of harmful ingredients like sulfates, SLS, and SLES, parabens, formaldehydes, phthalates, mineral oil, retinol. Mineral oil isn't, okay, that's for another video. Uh, I blah, blah, coal, uh, there's all, all kinds of shit that they're listing that's not in here, so that's exciting, I guess. This conditioner is the perfect complement to the Forte series clarifying shampoo and the next logical step in your perfect hair routine. When used after the shampoo, the conditioner helps replenish any oils your hair may, may be missing after the cleanse. Uh, it does also say leave on for one to three minutes for the soft, silky, smooth hair you deserve. And I wanted to mention that leave on for one to three minutes thing, because uh, we'll talk about that more during the demo footage which actually we're gonna mix it up we'll, we'll put this demo footage first and then we'll then we'll go into the oil whatever so instead of like talking about all the ingredients and then all the demos we're gonna we're, we'll break them up a little bit here so we're starting out with second day hair that's got a bunch of product in it i've got a little bit of fuerte oil based clay in because i really wanted to see how well this clarifying shampoo would remove all of that so we're wetting everything down and then we're going in with a decent amount of the shampoo uh, what is interesting off the bat about this shampoo to me is the kind of like dark caramel color it's just it you know I, there aren't many shampoos i've used that have that color so that was it just interesting um it is also i i guess worth mentioning that when you're washing your hair in the shower and not in a recording studio like i am and your hair is like really saturated with water uh, this will lather more than it is lathering on me here but regardless of that lather doesn't really matter um honestly the, I can definitely feel it like breaking up the products as I'm massaging it in. So then we're gonna go ahead and rinse that out. And uh, yeah, I can definitely feel it all. The product is gone. And now this is a clarifying shampoo. And so as a result, uh, with a deeper cleanse, especially for someone like me with a coarse wavy hair type, my hair is feeling a bit dry at this point. So this is, I, is definitely something you wanna use a conditioner afterwards. So yeah, we're going in with a fairly generous amount of conditioner here. Honestly, it's probably too much conditioner. I didn't need quite that much, but that's fine. And just kind of working that in. And now I, for me and my hair type, definitely like leave this bitch in for three minutes. Cause I have, you know, I've been testing these for about a week and a half or so. Um, and I found that for me, if I didn't leave it in long enough, then after I rinsed it out and dried my hair, my hair was still feeling kind of dry and didn't have that like soft silkiness 
at least to the extent that I wanted. Um, but after leaving this in for a full three minutes, then rinsing it out and finally going to blow dry a bitch, now we've got the silky hair that I wanted. It's looking pretty good. We've got a nice natural shine. It's nice and soft and light, so it doesn't feel weighed down or anything. And the, uh, you know, frizziness and flyaways are pretty tamed. I've got a couple flyaways here and there, but that's typical for a situation where I've blow dried my hair without using any kind of pre-styler. All right, now we can talk about the serum. Um, so one thing that struck me right away with this, they're, so they're calling it heart, heart, <sighs> hydrating argon oil. It does say daily hair serum. Hair, Jesus. Daily hair serum underneath that. Um, but like when you look it up on the website and stuff, it doesn't really say, see, it's just, just like hydrating argon oil. Okay, why are you talking about this so much, Matt? Who cares? Um, but it says it's a specially crafted argon oil blend, which I mean, it technically it is. Um, but if we look at the ingredients, we have cyclopentacillosine, I think I said that right. Dimethiconol, cyclotetracyclosine, phenyl trimethicone. So, so we've got one, two, three, four silicones first. Then we have some argon oil. Then we have caprylomethicone, another silicone, um, and then some sunflower seed oil and tocopherol, which is just a, a um, preservative. So, I. Is it technically an argon oil blend? I guess, yeah, because it has argon oil and sunflower seed oil in it. Um, which, by the way, sunflower seed oil is good for uh, color protection in the sun as well. Just want to throw that out there. But, I mean, really, it's five silicones. And and then a little argon oil and then a little sunflower seed oil. So, which is fine. I, I, I'm going to say it right now, because I'm sure there are some people already typing like, Oh, silicones are bad for your hair build up. I don't, silicones are fine. I use silicone-based serums all the time, and they work wonders for my hair, and I have never, I'm gonna say that again, never had a problem with, like, silicone scalp buildup or whatever. Um, so I don't, it doesn't matter to me, I don't care. I just, it's interesting that they're, like, calling it an argon oil blend when there really doesn't seem to be that much argon oil or other oils in it. You know, like, they're at the end of the ingredients list. But I digress. Let's go into the demo footage and see how it works. So we're starting out here with freshly washed hair again. And this time, of course, I'm applying this into damp hair. Now, you don't need much. I mean, you need a few drops. They do mention on the website that this little bottle uh, is supposedly three months worth of daily use, um, which is definitely possible because with, as with any serum, yeah, you only need a few drops. You don't need to use much of it at all. Um, so you just kind of work that in. I like to comb it through just to make sure we're even, evenly distributed. And I am having a hard time I'm talking today. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and blow dry a bitch again. And yeah, so here we are. My hair is feeling nice and silky smooth. The flyaways uh, and frizz are definitely better tamed than they were, you know, without it. And they do mention that this is like a lightweight formula. It's not greasy or whatever, because there are some like older serums, I'm looking at you super skinny, that hasn't updated in like 58 years, um, that those can be greasy and heavy. And this is a light formula. So as long as you don't use like a shitload of it, it's fine. It's it's definitely not greasy. It is lightweight and it does it does a nice job. It's a nice serum. And finally, now we're on to the molding paste. Now, they uh, are calling this a matte touchable finish with a strong pliable hold product. And as far as the ingredients, it is a water-based formula. And then we've got some uh, familiar players in here like beeswax, castor seed oil, candelilla wax, hydro uh, peg 40 hydrogenated castor oil, um, Modified potato starch, which is interesting. You know, we're putting potatoes in the hair now. Uh, apple fruit extract. And then closer to the bottom of the list here, we've got bentonite followed by our best boy, kaolin clay, uh, as well as some isoparaffin, which is interesting. They do mention, uh, it's, I think it said somewhere, is it on the box? Uh, so this does say, to achieve maximum volume, apply into freshly washed and blow-dried hair. So, I mean, you know me, I'm a dry hair styling boy, so that's right up my street. They do also mention on the website that you can uh, add additional volume by using it as a pre-styler. So, I have demo footage of both here. I have it used on um, dry hair that I've only pre-styled with the serum. And then I have a second demo where I pre-style with the serum and a little bit of this and then finish with more. So let's get into those. So I guess we'll do the dry hair only styling one first. So 
as aforementioned, we're starting out here with freshly washed, blow-dried hair that I have pre-styled with the Daily Hair Serum. And then we're going in with, you know, my typical, about a dime-sized amount of product for this hair length. Now, as you can see from the scoop out of the jar here, this is, uh, well, first of all, you don't have to heat it up with a blow-dryer to get it out of the jar, so... That's exciting. Uh, it is definitely a much softer and easier to work with scoop. It has a, uh, you know, waxy, pretty creamy feel to it. It breaks down pretty quickly in the hands. Now this is something that, like, I know some guys like to break down everything for, like, until it goes clear. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get that with this. It's gonna have white residue on your fingers and that's fine. Don't worry about it. So obviously I'm doing my typical, like, fingertip kind of rake and shake thing to get it into the roots. Now, it, it does, in this situation, it does apply pretty smoothly. There is a little bit of tack, but really nothing to speak of. Um, so it is a pretty smooth application. Uh, but as you can see here, after we've styled it in for a couple of minutes, it's basically, for me, this is like a light hold at this point. So I did end up going in with an, about another half a scoop, uh, just to see if I could dial up the hold a little bit, because they, they're calling it a strong hold. So here's a look at the final style. So we're looking pretty decent texture-wise and volume-wise. It does feel very lightweight in the hair, so I'm not, you know, anticipating a huge drop in volume or anything throughout the day. But taking a look here at the end of the day, this is eight hours later, so you can see, um, I mean, it's definitely like a light to maybe medium hold at best for me like this. You know, of course, it is very, you know, it's touchable and pliable, so you can move it back into place. Um, but it is worth mentioning here that I had to fix it many times throughout the day because it kept like flopping over to the other side and whatever. Not a huge deal for me because I like having, you know, more natural flowy hairstyles. Um, but I just wanted to mention because I mean, the, it's saying is a strong hold and for me in this application, it was medium at best. Now in the second demo footage, once again, freshly cleaned hair, but of course now we've, it's still damp. We've pre-styled with the serum and now we're going in with uh, about a little less than a dime sized scoop into the damp hair. <laughs> Um, and so in this case, yeah, the volume and texture is dialed up a little bit, and here it, it definitely feels like it already has more hold in it than it did the first time. Um, so I'm going in with a second scoop here to finish up the style. Now what I noticed in this case is that the application was a lot stickier for me. I mean, that, now that's, I have a coarse wavy hair type, so that's something that, you know, maybe that won't happen for you if you've got straight or finer hair. But they, you know, they do also mention that for finer haired people, this is meant to kind of plump the hair. You know, it's got the bentonite and kaolin in there, which do that. Um, so for me, it, with the double application, styling the second scoop into the blow dried hair was, you know, it had some pretty decent stack, stack? Stickiness and tack, we're just stack now, we're just calling it stack. Um, so it, it was, you know, slightly uncomfortable for me to style and then, but with, with our finished look here, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it I feel like it looks a little bit drier and it feels drier in the hair for me at this point. So it's, it's not, it, it's definitely got more hold to it and I guess slightly more texture, but it's not as like touchable and pliable. Like when I try to run my fingers through it at this point, it feels like thicker and it's got a little bit of that like tangly ends thing going on. Now, taking a look here eight hours later, once again, at the end of the day, that kind of tangly dryness did taper off a bit. It's still there a little bit, like it didn't totally go away. Um, but as you can see, the hold was definitely better. I did still have to fix it, you know, throughout the day, but it wasn't quite as light holding as it was in the single application. All right, guys, so overall thoughts, and we get a lot to juggle here. That did not work out at all. Overall thoughts on the new Forte series lineup. They I, um, salon grade? Maybe, I mean, we're pretty much there. I, they're not the greatest formulas I've ever used of for any of them, to be honest with you. Um, but they're, yeah, they're pretty decent. You know, the, the clarifying shampoo, I wanna talk about this because typically in my experience, and I think some stylists will back me up on this, in most cases, a clarifying shampoo is not something that you wanna be using on the daily. This is like a maybe once a week thing, maybe once every other week thing, depending on, you know, what kind of products you use and your hair type and whatever. Um, but, you know, by nature, clarifying shampoos are meant to be a deeper cleanse. They're meant to remove buildup. They're meant to remove built up minerals and stuff. Um, so it is more stripping to the hair, both of your natural oils and whatever. And if you're somebody like me, who's got 
you know, vibrant color in, I did see a fairly significant amount of color bleed with this versus, you know, using like a color safe shampoo instead. Now, with that being said, um, this is a pretty gentle clarifying formula. It's, I mean, I've used a, a handful of clarifying shampoos over the, over the years and um, there are definitely plenty of them out there that are much harsher than this. Um, so it is, you know, a pretty gentle formula. So you probably, if you don't care about hair color or whatever, you could probably get away with using this as like your regular shampoo, um, as long as you're conditioning it afterwards. Like, do not use this by itself, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, the conditioner, it definitely pairs well with that. I, it was a pretty decent, uh, you know, moisturizing and whatever, like my hair did feel pretty nice afterwards. As I mentioned, as long as you leave it in long enough. The hair serum, I think is actually my favorite product of the lot of these. Um, it's a nice serum. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of shit talking earlier about the calling it a, an argan oil blend based on the formula being mostly silicones. Um, but that aside, I mean, it's a nice serum. It is lightweight. It is non-greasy. Uh, it, it works well. It does what it's supposed to do. So really no uh, complaints there other than my fairly useless one about the name in comparison to the actual formula. And finally, the molding paste. I definitely like this more than the clay. I mean, th this is certainly like just a better formula in general. Like, A, I didn't have to heat it up with a blow dryer or hit it with a chisel to get it out of the jar, so that was good. Um, it's got a scent instead of no scent, which for me is, is a plus. And I like the packaging a lot more. I mean, I don't... I don't massively care for like the giant forte on the front of the jar, but in general, like the black jar with the, you know, thing on the lid, I think that this just looks nicer than this does. Like the, I don't know, this just doesn't look quite as attractive to the eye to me as the this does. Yeah, I mean, I think the molding paste for me and my hair type, it's lacking in like the hold area and the texture area for me. It is lightweight and it's, you know, natural looking. Like if you're going for that, like it looks like there's nothing in your hair, um, this will work for that. Um, which is actually interesting because they mentioned that on the website little blurb about the molding paste. They're like, yeah, it looks like, you know, it's matte and it looks like you've got nothing in your hair. And then for some reason they chose this as the promo image. That is not what it looks like when it's in your, like that dude's hair is wet. Um, and I did also notice today when I was looking, you know, to make sure I had all the prices right and everything. Um, they've also added this new like diamond membership thing. Um, which seems kind of weird, but basically it, it's like you can prepay, I think it's, they're listing it as like a retail value of 360 bucks and it's on sale for $190 or something. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a pretty penny. Um, but apparently they're coming out with like a whole bunch more products this year and they've, they've got like sort of like two of them have estimated release dates and two of them are to be determined. Um, so it's like if you pay up front a couple hundred bucks then throughout 2021, as these things are released, you'll just get them, um, which is interesting. I don't know. I, it's certainly unique. I don't think I've ever seen a company do exactly that. I mean, it's a pre-order basically, but it's like you have to pre-order everything if you want to do it. So we shall see what 2021 brings, I guess. Uh, but that brings us to the end of this video for now. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please do stay tuned. Got plenty, plenty, plenty more stuff in my backlog to get to. Uh, so if you haven't already, feel free to hit the sub button down below to keep up to date with all that. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.